Peace and blessings, my Afrocentric home decor and style channel. So hopefully this will go. I know when that fan is going, I think it messes up like the the, the camera doesn't know where to focus. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, you know, get that right. The camera doesn't know where to focus and it kind of jumbles and rumbles and stuff up. But anyway, I turned it off and it is slowly but surely turning off. So let me wait for one person. Hope you have a great Saturday. And for those in the States, happy holidays because I know y'all still celebrating. It's set for Thursday you had Thanksgiving. Next day you usually have off if you're working outside of the home. And then today's Saturday. So happy Saturday. Good evening, Dora. Good evening. Can we just have a moment of silence for this absolutely stunning, beautiful shelving, kitchen shelving that I created, can you believe it, that I designed, yours truly, with the shelving on top to make sure that I had room to put, thank you, darling, to put some flowers or some plants. So we're going to talk about some new plants I got in and the whole bed and how I got them and the whole thing. So let's see if today we're able to see. Oh, we can see those Indinkra symbols. I mean, those carvings will might last me a lifetime of carvings where I will be passing these things down to my daughter. So now the styling is definitely not finished. It is what it is. And um, I'm working with what I got. So remember, y'all, I told you that Kwame took the cow horn, uh, cow horn and actually made some vases out of it for moi. So I'm using them. And this actually, so there is like a um, drainage, drainage in general. And the water just stays right here when it's done. And I just pour it out. So... So I replanted or re, yeah, repotted uh, the beautiful flowers that Kwame brought back from the village, or he always say flowers, it makes me say flowers, but uh, the beautiful plants with the red and the white, which, you know, goes with the color scheme as well. And then, uh, so yeah, these are all doing well. I think the repotting was successful. Now this one, hmm, I don't know. Actually, that one's part of that and that's great. Thank you. These, so half of this one made it, and these two, they're drooping, but the other ones made it, and they all were drooping today, so they're coming up, so I'm happy, and I remember my book, Healing, the Healing Power, no, Healing Through the Use of Plants, by African Brothers, so I love it there, so I'm just really doing what I was doing before, was taking the calabashes and using them to store the fruit until Faustina comes on Monday to chop it all up and put it in the fridge, I'm still wanting to have beautiful, bright color bowls, but I feel like at least what I do like about this is it's still very organic looking. And I think what I love about this whole even shelving thing is it still makes the kitchen look like it's not a something you can't touch or it's just for you know, for decorations, that it really is somebody lives here, somebody, um, <clears throat> Somebody eats here, you know, somebody is thriving here. And I just love that. Like I do. I love it. I love I love this cabinet. Like every day it just it comes more and more to life. I think the paint is this getting married to the mahogany wood. So as you know, we start off with mahogany wood. I know a lot of people are new. So if you hear me repeating stuff, keep in mind that I'm repeating stuff because somebody's finding this this page every single day. And uh, so, yeah, so this was custom made. It was my design. It came in a dream. I love to say that. No, but it did come to me about this shelving. What I want, like, I can't, like, I think to myself, like, how did I decide to put shelving? I don't even know where that came from. It came from spirit, let's say. I know where it came from. So, okay, so the curtains was also, uh, the, I'm going to say my curtains. I had the curtains made. They're fabric called wooden. And I used the two lime green colors. And of course, this is all uh, in, in, um, in honor of the Ghana flag. So that's why we call it the Ghana kitchen. Just in case you're wondering, it really is the Ghana kitchen because the Ghana flag. If you see the little shadow, it's because we have a ceiling fan now and it kind of blocks the light every once in a while. But it is such, it's so heavenly, y'all, having a ceiling fan. And so I'm spending, like, I come home. I eat in the kitchen, I, I make food, I do everything because of that fan. So that fan, I'll take the, the you know, the... Oh my God. Damn. 
Mm-mm-mm. I don't know who they knocked into. Probably drunk. Well, I don't know. Could be. Because people party. It's election time. People acting a fool. Um, I hope it's okay. So, yeah. So, my theme is red, yellow, green. And then you see the black star to go with the black star in, uh, for, the, for the Ghana flag. And I wanted to show you this table because a sister pointed out how, and I just I designed this table, but a sister, and I'm gonna use this, I gotta use this to move the light around <laughs> uh, so you can see things a little better, but um, I think it's fine. You know what, I'm not gonna make a big deal of it. Let's see, is that better or worse? Yeah, that's better. So a sister pointed out like, oh, you know what, your table's pretty too, like even without the, uh, tablecloth because I also designed tablecloth as well. well I, I chose the fabric and also the design of the cloth the way it lays and I'll show you it it was washed today so I didn't put every, all the wash stuff back on but the table is beautiful again it's that smoke glass and these are you can't see it but this table holds together by these little suction cups and this is the same thing that we're going to use for the calabash coffee table that you I have in, is coming uh, to, to adhere the glass to the calabash. And the calabash coffee table going to have lights in the coffee table. Yo, I, this was all me, like, for real. But I, I, so I'm telling you, I kind of redesigned this. This was way smaller, way shorter, and the legs were not coming out like this. And the weaving was different. And I was going to get it, and I said, because I knew that Kwame I had these two little chairs, and I knew that I wanted them to turn them into the Ghana chairs. So like I said, this is how this started. And this is woven. This is a, a, a plastic roping, and it is a technique that I've seen, I see in Ghana. And for me, a Togolese woman did it for me. Kwame stained and polished the chairs that he already had, and then I had my little sewn thing. And then uh, we needed, I needed a table, so this was very short and little. And so I said, you know what? I like this table that you have, but I want the weaving to be from another chair or table that I saw, and I need you to lift it higher so a chair could go underneath it. And I, then I didn't measure. I just kind of showed them how high. I was new to it. And I saw these legs. I know I knew I, I didn't want the legs to be straight. I needed this a little curve. And I think he added the little part on the bottom. And then I definitely wanted the glass and I wanted the smoke glass. And I wanted a, the round table. So, yeah, this is another one of my tables. And I love this table. And so you're right, because I have the, the tablecloth on, sometimes you can't see it. So I just kind of wanted to, this is what it looks like when I wash the tablecloth, you know. So then it's I Love Ghana cups. I had to bring in the I Love Ghana because, so we got the I Love Ghana uh, flag. And then we got the I Love Ghana uh, with the love and, the, you know, still kind of the flag with a heart shape. And then I brought in these beautiful uh, coasters because they had the, remember, it is red, yellow, green, white, and black. I mean, if you'll see my, if you see my um, tablecloth, you would see it, that tablecloth has red, white, and black. So all of that because the star is black and you see the cups is white. So you bring in white for sure. You know, you kind of have to. So I'm gonna show you a few things. So yes, got you know my masks on the cabinets. Cabinets were totally not like this. Go back and see some old videos. The cabinets were yeah a mess, but now they're not. So let me show you some of the new things. So I cleaned this out, and I'm way more happy with what I got going on here. Okay. So in here I brought in. So oh, let's talk about the, this shelf. So, or this is the top. Now here, I just got my calabash and calabash stands. I really would like to make them colorful, and I am, but for now, uh, onions, avocados, mangoes, bananas, bananas. <laughs> and then I brought in the baskets, these two baskets, the red and the yellow, they actually hold my teas. I'm actually gonna make me some sun tea tomorrow and put my hibiscus out in the sun, in the water, in the pitcher, and just make a sun tea, and it's gonna be so dope because it's so hot here. It's gonna be dope. So I, I just want that on deck. And I think this is so stunningly beautiful. And the green, I chose the green because thank you. I chose the green because I just felt like it, every, every when I chose the yellow, because after I chose the red, I felt like we needed more yellow represented. Then I brought in the green at the door. And here, of course, the chairs, and I feel like okay, we need a little more green, but lighter. So everything just kind of, every time I add a piece, I know what the other piece of furniture or color or, or item that I'm going to put in. 
So that was it. So again, I want to, I live here. Like I, I eat here. It's not just a showroom. So I uh, don't, this is my poor, poor, my papaya up there, which is green, right? On the red, that's a pie. I mean, that's a watermelon, which is a dark green. That's the green side. So this on green, on green, you couldn't even really see it. You're not surprised. So I said, well, let me put that green basket with tea bags on the red. And then I already have my red, yellow, and green uh, uh, storage containers. And then this one, uh, Frostina needed this for uh, uh, something she's making me. I can't remember. Um, so anyway, and this is a bunch of oranges I got from the market. And I'm going to turn it into, Frostina's going to turn it into orange juice. I love it. I feel like you can, go, you can come to my house and shop. Let me tell you, too. I had all of this fruit in the same calabashes. Thank you, Natty Dread. I had all of these. Uh, I had all of these uh, fruits in the same calabashes up here, but I couldn't really see them. You know, that's a low bulge. You know, the calabashes. So I couldn't really see them. So I said, "Well, you know what? I now that's why. I, that's right. That was my inspiration of why I got the shelving. I wanted to see my fruits. Okay, it's, it's not okay. They're focused. I wanted to see my fruit so that it wouldn't spoil and I would eat it." And that was it. So that's that. And then I had these bowls. They were actually planters for plants. And I didn't, the plants didn't make it. So I kept the beautiful clay bowls, which are handmade in Ghana from scratch and also hand painted. And I thought they were so beautiful. I know the vibrancy, right? It makes me, I, this is such a happy kitchen, y'all. Like super happy. And then remember, y'all, this started it. I needed that flag, red, yellow, green. They brought in the sticker. That is a sticker for the Black Star. Uh, Culture thought he could uh, draw the star. He couldn't do it, but it was okay. Let's talk about these. These planters I bought with two other with some other plants. They were like twin plants, and they didn't make it. Uh, but because they were outdoor plants and they were flowers in it, and they just yeah, I knew it was a chance, and I took it. I don't know why my thing takes so. I think this this thing is like you got so much color. We don't know what to focus on. So let's stay on it and see what happens. Interesting, it's not focusing. Well, okay, so well, we're gonna keep going. So this this plant right here, like I said, was given to me. I went and bought, and I'll show you the plants in the other room. I went and bought this one plant. I wasn't even trying to buy the plant. I was waiting for the taxi, and the plants were there. He said 10 CDs, and he wound up giving me the other three. Well, this was one of them. Y'all, I think this is called, I think this would be equivalent to, maybe it's not a morning glory, but that's what it does. It closes at night, and in the morning, it opens up, and it has, like, two or three beautiful flowers. And the brother was telling me that. So, actually, it has its own pot. I just bought it. So, what I did was the old plants that didn't make it, I love the plants because it goes with the theme. Remember? Red, gold, and green. Black for the black star. And then remember, we got the white coming in, and that's it. So, these were already that. They're made of from recyclable, you know, old water containers, bottles or plastics turned upside down. That would be the top cut in half and I love them. So I wanted to keep them. So all I merely did was take this plant and put it right in. It's still in this, it's still in this nursery pot and it's inside here. I just clean these out. Same thing with this one. Y'all know this plant. Y'all, what is this plant called again? It's so beautiful. And look, y'all, it's red, yellow, and green. So this is what really attracted me. Well, you'll see the other one I bought is red, yellow, and green because I'm keeping with the theme. You see it's still in this nursing bag, and I just put it in the pot. And so it's still in the nursing bag. And in the wooden curtains, and I'm loving this, right? Now, y'all know I'm going I'm, I'm to try. I'm going to do one at least. So these are, I think this is supposed to be real wood, but this is not. I bought this at a regular local store called Malcolm with all my herbs in it. But I actually am seriously thinking about painting these black. They'll look really, really beautiful, y'all. Don't worry. I think it'll be very, very chic, but we'll see. But, of course, keeping the tops, the natural wood color, you know, we'll see. Like I said, we'll see. But it's just something. At the same time, this way gives it a very homey, again, feel. But, you know, I like chic. I like homey. It's good. All right. Open this up. So this had a door. One didn't. One did. I wanted the whole, all of them, all of the uh, cabinets open concept. But I couldn't because the, which he made a very good point. The carpenter, carpenter said that if I left this open from this window, it would be so dusty. 
And it's interesting. Today, I didn't even know, but I, I dusted. It was so much dust up here that it was black. So it that dust is coming in serious. I'm in Ghana, West Africa, so you know how that go. So these are my, uh, I think this is my, this is a redwood, but I can't remember which wood. But these are my, I had these made. They're not mine. They're somebody else's design, and he showed me, and I said, well, make me some. So these two, so I got my more natural stuff. This is how you, this is like a mortar and pestle kind of thing, but this is the Ghanaian version of it. So I thought that was a good concept with the clay kind of bowl and a little thing to, you know, smash things up, if you will. See, when I pull out my hot plate, because you know I ain't got no uh, stove, I got rid of it, but because I'm, I'm eating raw, so... And then this, yeah, so this is my natural. And then this, I'm glad it, actually, I really do prefer that it has the, uh, that it has the doors now. Because, you know, that's your, you know, this, uh, there is a clock cabinet where you just, you know, I got to, I got to uh, declutter it. But it's pretty, you know, neat. Underneath here, I got to declutter, but I did put a shelving in there. And I, I got the carpenter to come and put a shelving in there. And I had my painter paint this. For those who never saw this, I, I wish I could just insert right now if I knew how the before picture. But it was a contact paper, fake wood-looking contact paper uh, all over. And I took it all off. We had, had this little chemical to peel it all off. I had the carpenter come in and do it. And so that's it. Let's talk about the brother who inspired the whole thing. It was Kwame Nkrumah, who was Ghana's first president. He was the first one to basically dismantle colonialism and said, uh, freedom now. And he made it happen. And so and he gave Ghana its name. Before that, it was called the Gold Coast. And he gave Ghana its name. So I had to honor the brother. And he, he I'll tell you about when I turn around and show you the uh, trash can and the um the trash can and the uh, recycling bin i'm gonna show you both and i'm gonna show you about the flag and even how the flag i can tell you now the red really is for the blood that was spilled of africans the ones that they took and the ones that stayed the yellow is for uh rege regeneration you know the sun everything we ever heard of the green is for the earth that was stolen and the black is for the black people and also he was inspired by the black he was very much inspired by marcus garvey so he that's why he got the black for the, uh, the, the black star line, yeah. So I wanted all of it represented. And keep in mind that this, these two cheers were the first thing I had and they were truly the inspiration. So let's talk about the gold. This was a, a, a dirty white, no, it was a definitely dingy white wall going all around. And I painted it first this pale yellow color. And then when I saw this go on here, I knew I loved it. So then I painted it a, a more gold because I wanted red, gold, and green, just like the flag, not red, really yellow and green. So I love this yellow. And it goes all the way around. So I got a couple of things coming. Two masks. I'm thinking some animal masks on the side of Kwame and Kruma. I got two more things coming here. I won't tell you. I want to surprise y'all. You know I had to bring in the masks. And the mask itself, too, have the red. This one is green, but it has a yellow with the elephant. And then this one is green, and it has the black. And they all have a black base, and so except for this one. And I love that. So it's red, yellow, green, black. It's still there. And so I love this wall. And then I brought in something. Oh, those are newer ones. Oh, it also has the Jinamine, so, you know, and it has the Sankofa symbol here. This is the other Sankofa symbol. And then this is the Jinamine, except God. I feel no one but God. And then here I had to bring in some old pieces because what too? It's the a juafe. Well, it's the comb, um, and it's also uh, the red and the yellow. You know I got to keep bringing that stuff in. So and there's gonna be some that goes here. I had to represent the market woman, and so I bought the picture. It's kind of gold in her clothes, and then it's also um, red, which I love as well. And that was a big part. And then I was loving, even my Ghana radio, so I can listen to local radio, is black. And it has a little red right there. And, oh, I got this new tray that I'm about to get. So, oh, yeah, and that's another thing. Let's talk about that. Now, I'm getting hot, y'all, so, because, you know, I'm a menopausal woman, and we get hot. So, hopefully, the thing don't do funky things with the fan. But let's talk about this top of this. I'm designing, I, I did one just to see, I'm designing my own baskets. So one, two, three, but I only designed one because I got to see if he got the concept. It looked like he was a little confused. 
So we're going to hopefully I'll, I'll actually next week I'll pick up the basket and I, I'm going to surprise you. It's a very beautiful basket. It's going to be three. And that's where I'm going to hold all my supplements because most of the supplements they come in big bags and then I fill them up in these little jars and then I have the bags left and I want a place for the bags. So I'm going to have it in the baskets and even, you know, other little things. Even up here, this is storage. I have my Afrocentric napkins that's from my boutique. Uh, I have my uh, iron and bar cover, so things are up there. And then, so we're going to have three beautiful baskets. I measured it perfectly so it should fit perfectly. And then, and then there's going to be something else. It's going to be another mask or something. I'm not really sure right there. So let me tell you what I did. Yo, y'all. Okay, let me cut this off because I really don't want this to be messing up. Now, excuse me if I sweat, okay? Because it's hot for a sister. This kitchen is always hot. That's why. Oh, and the fan for those that, because this is an update. The fan is newly installed. Uh, what What was that day? Your Thursday. Let's talk about the laundry baskets. Okay. So these are laundry baskets. Uh, I bought one from a woman, and I then went back and had another one made because she just didn't have them. And so that was the first one. So I wanted the flag reflected. I, I, so I'm taking the laundry basket and I'm using it as a trash can, something that I've been doing since I lived in the States. Um, but this is beautiful. It's made out of pure cane. It is handmade. That's why no two really are alike. They, they make them by memory. So when you say you want it, they just remember it. So I got three and none of them are like, one I use as a laundry basket. You can use these as end tables, coffee tables. Uh, I've used it as all of those things and a laundry basket and in my case a trash bin So this one is the kind of flag the red the yellow the green and then the black Yes oh, Okay, give thanks the red the yellow the green and then the black No, I forgot to do it again John. I'm gonna get it right I'm gonna get it right because I think the inside should be painted, but no, it's not I think he might have charged me more. Thank you so, and so this was the first one, and that's the flag, because I wanted to bring that flag, because you know what? Let me tell you my goal. I want people without a doubt to know, without, like this, oh my gosh, she's doing the Ghana flag. This the Ghana kitchen. So that's why I brought that in. And then today, this is still drying, you can kind of see, today. So I was like, okay, I want another one, because I needed one for recycling. Remember, you saw all that bottled water in the cabinet, because in Ghana, it is advisable to drink bottled water. So I have lots of it. And so Kojo and Faustina, when they come on Monday, they take the bottles because their mother recycles the bottles. She uses it to sell her orange juice inside of it. So it's perfect. I got a family that takes it. So I say, what am I going to do? I can't do the same red, yellow, green. I can't do it. Because I was like, well, then I'll just do it from the bottom, red, yellow, green. I was like, oh, that's not so creative. That, what, what is that? That ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I can't do that. And it came to me, I was like, wait a second. Uh, Kwame Nkrumah was inspired by, was, well, inspired in, in so many, but by Marcus Garvey. So why not bring in the Black Liberation colors? So that was it. Red, black, and green, honey. And if you know, these will be on the boutique. So they're just different styles, these two. Uh, red, black, and green. I thought, there you go. Black Liberation colors, red, black, and green. And like I said, they are a little bit different in size because they don't have a, a, a formula. They just remember it and make it. And it's beautiful. And so he, I, so I said to him, so I said, well, wait, we got to have something in the middle of the red, black, and green. And I was thinking, wait, we can still bring in that yellow because the same colors. We can still bring in that yellow. We make the African map, the, the African map. And that was it. Came up with it. I said, Kwame, I want the Africa in the middle, but I need it to be yellow. Because we got that black, what other color would go? The yellow's there. Still saying we're in Ghana. You know what I'm saying? African liberation colors. Uh, yes, we could make it in smaller size, naturally clever. We sure could. We sure could. We could make them in smaller sizes. Exactly. To fit in other different places and use for other things, like to put your throws in or absolutely absolutely i'm sure that they can so i'll talk to them so anyway i got i dropped it off yesterday and then i picked it up today uh it wasn't ready when we first got there so anyway uh i said okay kwame we, we kwame done ran me around it was great we got everything done and i was like kwame please uh go get it for me so kwame went to the get it and he said sent me a picture he said hey 
it's not complete. He didn't put the Madagascar. And I was like, you know what, Kwame, you right about that. He's like, so I'm waiting for him to put the Madagascar, and then we'll take it. So, yeah, we had to add that in, and I picked it up today, and it's beautiful. Oh, you know, I, oh, and again, I forgot to show you. So this Black Star is the same. He also put the Black Star on both sides. I really love that. Like, I, I didn't think of that. I just asked him for the Black Star. And then he said, oh, you want to put it on both sides? Like, yeah, that's why I tell you, y'all, this is collaboration. Well, he also did the same thing for the Africa one as well. So we got it on both sides. Remember, y'all, this is handmade. I got to go to I got to go to one person to make it, and there it is. And then the other person, come on, thing, focus. Let's see, there you go. And the other person to paint it. So this is handcraft. Everyone is individual. No two will ever be alike. They don't use, like when they, even when they sew, they're not using patterns. And when they make, they're not using, even, they ain't even looking at a picture. And that's the beauty of it. You know, I was watching this white show. For a guy, well, I, was having, was, I was watching something else and it came on YouTube. It was, I don't know, but it was from England. And it was talking about this wallpaper that they hand paint. And, you know, she was like, yeah, you can see no two alike. You can see all the imperfections, which is so beautiful. And they're paying, like, 2500 to 25000 for these one-of-a-kind. And they're, and, the, and they're marveling at the beauty of the handmadeness. And that is what I want to bring, y'all. That is what, that's why Melissa, what a great cl client. She got it. She paid for what she wanted. She understood the richness and the wealth. And that's what I want y'all to. Okay, you go have other Afrocentric uh, decor uh, websites that's going to be selling. And honey, they might sell it cheaper. I'm not selling it cheap. I pay the people well. Kwame tell you, Kwame get paid too. So, because Kwame be getting the stuff done. He be doing it. He, he got connections. And I want to bring us just like the brother from the organic place, Boff said. Boffo, I think it is. We have to look at our stuff as beautiful and exquisite as anything else. So to get one of these, you know, like I said, I'm hoping, God, let me be able to patent stuff because this is stuff, this is my ideas, you know. And so, you know, but anyway, to get one of these is a, it's going to be a Lisa Marie original. You know what I'm saying? Like a, yeah, it's an Afrocentric home design. So these are beautiful. They're stunning. I do like that red, black, and green. Now, like, I love the other one, too. But now that red, black, and green, because that black color is so pretty, huh? That's why I'm telling y'all, make them black. Don't get scared. It'd be real funky. So let's, and then let's go back and just do a view of the whole kitchen. So, and then, you know, like I said, we got some few things to add. So let me tell you, let me ask, well, how do you feel in the kitchen? I want to show you the other room as well. And because uh, I know I got something new, I can't remember. I, I don't remember. I'll show you. Uh, how do I feel? First, I'm sleepy. I, went, I was up to bed at 1 30 in the morning. I was in here doing stuff. I was in this whole house. I feel so happy. I eat in it every single day. Every single day, I eat here morning and I eat my, and my breakfast and I eat my dinner at night. And I do it every single day. I feel uplifted, joyful. I feel like wow that's like y'all i feel accomplished i feel amazing it is so dope like it is so it is such a dope feeling and it's a vibe and i love that it's a vibe and i love it and then the fan is in here now so i ain't sweating and trying to run to get out like i can really enjoy it you know I, this time around because the last time i didn't have it i really wanted an eat-in kitchen and just to have that is such a blessing so Next thing we're going to be working on is the teak. It's getting the teak for the bathroom. I'm going to build my own, uh, uh, what do you call it? plant stand. Oh, it's going to stand. It's, uh, it's cosmic. It's cosmic. Get ready. And also my teak benches so I can sit there. I'm turning it into a spa. Let's talk about the living room. You know, it goes through its changes. This is all the soil and stuff that I had to get out. Because let me tell you what I did. So this was a vase. It's a vase that I had that was in the corner but the plant the plant was never good well i bought it it was from carmen's brother it was just never good and never made it big pot heavy pot handmade with the gene i mean on it and dinkra symbol and i and i had to take the dirt that was weighing pounds it's still in these bags all night it was a, more than a notion to get that old dirt out 
and I use it now. So when you first walk in, because it's in front of the Ashanti room, remember y'all, this is the Ashanti room, right? So I now, when you first come in, remember this from here to here is not much. When you first come in, thank you. You got the, you got the, uh, letting them know, oh, wait a second. We talking, and then this is the Indinkra symbols as well. So the Ashanti room, so I want people to already like, oh, what's behind that? What's behind door number one, you know? So the little area remember y'all because i changed things around in the shanty room which we are going to go in i had to put my you know loungewear hats and all my other stuff here which i love because i'm still a designer and that shouldn't have to be in some room like i'm a designer everywhere but you know what i really love so how does the stuff that's hanging from this uh you know so-called dummy right mannequin how does all of that the same colors are in the same colors of the warrior sister and remember this was the the uh curtain all afrocentric home design is all available every one of these designs every one of these uh fabrics curtains all available to curtains goes with the whole the colors are the same the chairs i didn't design the chairs i bought the chairs as is uh, I, I, it was the fa I picked out the fabric because they allow you, you know, you want to pick out your own fabric. I did. And then Susie uh, tightened this and she made these little, and Susie's my seamstress, one of my seamstress. She made it to be tighter so it could stand. So the cheers are beautiful. They are the same colors of everything else. Uh, this uh, two seater, they call it here, which we would call a love seat is part of a, a bigger set and i'm gonna show you in the shot here for those that are new um and y'all so you know i said in the bathroom we're not gonna show the bathrooms today but i said in the bathroom that i was gonna take the curtains over because i wasn't even utilizing them so this is the curtain with when i put this i'm gonna put this all in the kitchen these are my herbs that i put outside every night every day in the morning and i bring them in the night because i check them i take off the flowers and i water them and let them absorb the water at night and i put them back out so normally I wish I could see because this table is so pretty. Now let me tell you about this table. And then uh, I really wanted y'all to see it. So I think I'm going, uh, I'm not going to do it. We'll see it, we'll see it tomorrow. But this is the table that keeps moving. Y'all remember this was, this was the original table. I did not design this. I bought this as is. This was the original coffee table that I bought for this, for this set. And then I thought it was, I didn't know what it was. I don't know. Now I loved it. Then I used it as a plant table. This thing is still hanging. It, ha it barely has a scratch on the smoke glass mirror. The foundation is beautiful and it had plants. So that's what the stuff is made very, very well. But this is the newest addition and this is the whole space. I got some coming for this wall, y'all. And I got some coming, I got some coming for this wall. But like I said, I'm waiting for the price to get a little more right. And we're going to work it out. So... Oh, thank you, Chris, which is EA. Thank you. So let's go over here to this area. My laundry was just got done. It was on, on the line, so I took it down. So that's why it's over here. Okay, so let's talk about this area. We need to paint that again, but you know, it's the moisture. Uh, we got the beautiful two chairs, right? But this is where, this is where, so I had, I had to find a place to put that, and I just wound up putting it right back where it's supposed to be. But this area is going to be where my original design again is a calabash coffee table that lights up. So it has a lamp, and, and the calabash is already, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's carved by the calabash man. And it's going to be, I can't even tell you the carvings because it's so dang cosmic and out of this world. And in the, in the new, in the new comedic word, y'all figure it out. It's beautiful, but it's my total design. And it's going to be a coffee table. Those two color boxes that I already had. This is a batik that I actually decided to put on canvas. And I love it. And this is a, a, a old mask that I got from the art center. So I'm going to change this face. It's really bad. I, I didn't see a thing to change it, but I'm going to do that. Let's go into the bedroom is, y'all know the bedroom very, very well. But I want to show you, we have some. So this is the Angelina, the sheet set. And the curtains are also available, will be available at Central Home Design, as well as all the Calabash's lamps. So these are the gourds, and they are, they're not made by me, but I'm in partnership with the uh, Calabash man. That's what he's called, so that's why I say it. Don't look at these, y'all. Let me tell you what we're about to do. Let me tell you what we're about to do. I'm going to design, already got design in my head. I just got to sketch it. 
I'm going to design, I'm going into my drum series. This is the drum collection to our coffee tables for Afrocentric Home Design. So I'm actually going to design some different drum coffee tables for this too. So thank you, Naturally Clever, to, so for this one. This is just here because I, I really literally took them away because I, I, listen, right, tomorrow he would have the design for the coffee tables in this room. He would, but he already making my other ones that he ain't done with because I just gave it to him yesterday. The, 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 yeah, I just designed it and gave it to him yesterday. So this is not standing. You know, that's my Ashanti stool chair. But the collar bars are beautiful. They will be, they are available if you want to make arrangements to get it. Just email me at theblackberrybeauty at gmail.com. But don't worry. This, this actually table here is going to be for these two plants. So it's going to be a plant stand. And this, this is going to come back over there. But that's, I got them coming. Don't even worry. They coming. So this, these were the two. Because, listen, I love these. These are cute and beautiful. It's got the dinkra symbols on it. But, you know, it's a cheaper chair. So a cheaper chair or a cheaper table. And I wanted to I want to go higher with it, so with the design. And I think those calabashes need, you know, a grand display. So, but what I love about these, they are perfect, absolutely perfect for plant stands. Let me talk about the new addition. I fell in love with the red and the yellow. Yes. I got this is my newest edition. Dang, do we need extra lights here now? Yeah, kind of, but I'm not going to get it. This is my newest edition to the family. Say hi. I want to buy this one, and he gave me the other three, the two in the kitchen and the one here. Gave them, and I only paid 10 CDs, which is about $1.75. Yes, but it's actually, I don't think dollars anymore because I can't. It's 10 CDs. I need to know. The plants, I'll show you in the morning, which you can probably see even at night. The plants are absolutely thriving, and I'm loving it. Yes, I know, to the new, to the family. Hey, hey. So I rearranged some other plants and put them here, but that's the new one. Okay, now we're going to go into the Ashanti room. So you can enter into it two ways. This is some other curtains. So I, I, yeah, I got curtains for this side, which is the matching set. Oh, this is the original, so y'all want to see what it originally looked like. This is the original laundry basket. This is the whole thing. This was started all. This right here. Let me see if this thing will focus. I don't know why it's being funky, but it's got so much to focus on. But this is the original design, and so I, I love this. I love the shape. So we got our Indinkra symbols up in here. So this is two ways to enter. You can enter this way. Even this uh, poles are mine. I designed them. They are pure mahogany wood to hold. So we got light. <laughs> we ain't had no light. So we got the two pendant lights that you still can't see. I wanted to show you in the daytime. And I forgot to get the pendant shades that I did not design, but they're beautiful. And so we are getting the pendant shades. So here is the twin to that one. It looks a little different. It's moving to the sun because these colored stuff, want plants really need the sun. And if they don't have it, they'll just turn green and they won't be colored, which is great. But these still have their color, you know, somewhat. So it's turning green too, but it's still a lot of color. So I think it gets enough sun, this as well. So this, as y'all can see, I, I don't even have to show, everything is thriving. This one is even getting a new one. Here it is. Everything, the ones in the bathroom, everything is thriving. But I switched it up a bit, and I'm going to show you what I did. I tried to, I'm still trying to get a little symmetry, but I put this one on the table. This one's doing very, very well, very pretty. This one, you know, I got to turn tomorrow's uh, plant water day, at least check them, but they ready for them. Uh, everything's doing well. Like, I mean, so yeah, but the ponytail palm, this was a mag this was even more magnificent to me than it is now, but it didn't have enough room to spread out. And so the sun wasn't getting to the bottom. I was constantly having to cut some off. Although you see the new growth is tremendous. So, you know, it might do well here, it might not, because it's a little further away from the window, though it gets a lot of beautiful sun, but I know it likes being spread out. And it's kind of inspiration to me, so I love this. So yeah, I just turned the pot over and gave this one some height. 
so that it won't knock into or, you know, overshade another. I put stuff on the table. I utilize the two black tables. These two black tables, again, inexpensive tables. And remember, I always tell you I knew I was going to up-level them, but I love them for plant stands. So when I, yeah, so, and then I added the dogs because this Afrocentric baby, this is how we do it. Oh, no, they took away the super chat. They evil. I don't know, girl. This dang it, YouTube is so wrong. So wrong, but and that's a shame. But you know what? If you don't mind, and it, it would actually work even better for me if you can use uh, the, the uh, Naturally Clever can put the um, PayPal link, and then the money would actually go straight to me, and they don't get none, and they, that's better. So if you want to do that, uh, Naturally Clever, um, you may have already. If DJ Queen Champions in, but Naturally Clever is on it. Uh, you can put the PayPal. If you want to PayPal, it can go to the record. It would help me so much. So thank you. So, yes. Okay, good. Naturally Clever, you still here? Let's see. Let's see if Naturally Clever is still Because if Naturally Clever is still on, she'd be on it. So, yeah. So, I'll make sure that I mention it's, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll make sure. Or if at the end, at the end, let me see if she put it in. Because she will put it in. Because she might have already put it in. But at the end, I will make sure that it's included. I will make sure that it's included. There it is. She's right on it. She's on it. Well, I didn't notice that, but PayPal link is, that's right, www.paypal.me. You know, they're trying to, I really believe, hurt the, the swollen YouTube. They're just trying to get, honey, it's a whole political thing, and it's beyond me. So thank you for saying that. But all the plants you can see are absolutely thriving. That Ghana sun, and this, this room got some serious power. So this is the newest edition. I know you can't see it now because I bought it for work, you know, my works. But this one right here, this is the uh, fun from, and we got to try to get it, fun Tom from drum based on this drum, this Ashanti drum. Actually, Kwame says many ethnic groups in Ghana use it. And it was based on it. I won't even say loosely. It was very much. I wanted it to look like it. But of course, when you have my idea and then co-creation, you have it comes out the way it does. So this is a 30, about 32 inches from the ground, and I wanted it that high. It's about 32 inches or 30 inches around. And it's really beautiful. Oh, small business day. Oh, thank you for telling me. And it really is beautiful. Like it's just magnificent. I got this smoke glass. You can still see, because if you look, you can't see because of uh, the glare of the lights. But if you look, the Gina Mean is on the middle of this. It's also, a, not no design of mine, but beautiful. This is a leather rug with the indinkra symbols on it. And I wanted it to be open. I needed to make sure I see the Gina Mean. I've designed this. This is all made from the whole conception. And look what it looks like. It is beautiful. So I switched the whole room around to accommodate it, because we had to take two doors down just to get it in, because there's no narrow doors here. Uh, I changed up the room. Remember, y'all, I love the, the couch here. Thank you so much for the donation. I received it, sis. Thank you. Thank you, darling. I appreciate that. I love you for that. Midasi pa. And so, yeah, and then so I put this t here, and I switched these two, and then I took the snake plants on the sides, and then, you know, it's, it's really a vibe. But let's go over here and in this corner. So they on the floor, but they will not be on the floor for long. Y'all, I told you, I'm, I'm, I've designed it already, game design, game the down payment, um, more space in the corners. I'm making room for what I want. And then, you know, y'all take that metaphysically, please. So we're going to sit here for a while. You can see the different views you know, how I see it and how, so like I said, I just brought this in today. It got the room and it inspires me. And this table, and then we're gonna talk about the, the lamps. And this table is for my sketch pad. And this one, this is, no, this is a watercolor book. And I told Kwame, but it's okay. I bought it, I didn't have it, but the, and the, the papers of course are thicker, but I actually gonna like it for the sketching. And I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna actually wrap this with Ankara. So I'm gonna have a nice African print and I'm also gonna do one in mud cloth. So all my sketch pads will be mud cloth, Ankara, Kuba cloth. Again, I know the Ankara cover books is not new, 
but the way I'm going to do it is, and also with the mud cloth, the Kuba cloth, I'm having my own books, my own sketchbooks, and I'll be having Anna Afrocentric Home Design with the either one of the three, uh, even real Kente. Oh, yeah, we go in there on the book because so, I need to be inspired. So I just thought about that. So Kwame knows somebody that can do it because that's Kwame. That's, you got to love him. I love this. I'm going to get another one of the, the fertility dolls. Like I'm going to get another one because I just love her on the table. She inspires me. These are some stuff that uh, actually I love. They, um, they are actually the whole, the calabashes. Oh, we, well, we got to get to that. I forgot. You know what's interesting? What used to be the main, uh, I would say, piece of furniture in the room was this Ashanti, I said Ashanti, but it's, not, it's a wardrobe, they call it a wardrobe, we might call it an armoire, and uh, I had a, a car by my friend Kwame George, and it's just absolutely stunning, but he also carved the calabashes that I already had, and so with the Anthinkra symbols, and then the Anthinkra symbols in the wardrobe. And then I added this, because I, well, you know, I called in the carpenter, I was like, you know what, it was just all one, space not being utilized and I saw so I added the shelves and it's a kind of mess but hey it is way less mess than before for my bags and my shoes so basically I had a custom and then I added these side shelves in as well for my other stuff and of course it holds my suitcase so yeah I, I said hey we need some we got all this dead space and I need to utilize it and then this side is just my dresses and other stuff and then they got the drawers it's beautiful this is also mahogany wood stained and polished and um i designed it that was my first piece in the bed i'm gonna show you the bed y'all i did it so i was with him i was like okay brother because i looked and i saw the fault from tom from uh bags i ain't gonna sleep last night please and i saw the bags and i was like okay brother i, I i'm gonna tell you i'm mean, the drums I want the next ones, I want them 30 feet high. That's what I was saying. I said, oh, I want them 30 feet high, same as this. But I want them slimmer, because they have them. I showed them the brothers playing on YouTube with the drums. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He said, oh, this one's going to look just like a drum. He said, I said, well, you know, 30 inches, what you think about that? He said, whatever you want. I said, well, can we go 40? He's like, if you do 40, you would have it really looking like the uh, foam tum from drum. I was like, let's do 40 inches. We're going 40 inches, 40 inches, 40 inches is going to be like up here. And then with that on top of it, it's going to be a piece of art. It's going to look just like the drum. It's going to have a more of an hourglass shape, but not too hourglass. It's going to look like a, a, a kunga or a bongo, but it's a tom from, a tom, a from tom from. It's going to be beautiful. So we're going to have a 40 inch, that's three inch, three feet, four inch coffee table though in the drum shape with the with the smoke glass baby and i already measured it out 18 inches it's going to sit up on there and we're going to have one matching over there and that's going to turn the room out having those because those are thinker symbols let me cut this off those and Dinkra symbols, they deserve, they deserve to be lifted and them, those calabashes I met and the Dinkra symbols. And so, yes, y'all, and we're going to do something about this fan. And now my room, I got my little creative thing going on. We got much lighting, as you see, this room is bright. You couldn't even see that corner before. And I am so happy. So this is my Ashanti room. This room brings me joy. It feels brand new. Curtains, again, all available on Afrocentric Home Design. And then you see, it's probably for sale. And I most likely, I put it together, created it. But I got some very, I won't do it yet. Y'all will see it. I got some very exciting things that I'm doing for more designs that are totally, uniquely all mine. Um, and it's going to be, it's going to be like, birthing a baby it is it's just gonna be really fly so so yeah yeah i went to bed at 1 30 oh my god Kwame worked me today we went so many places got so much stuff done so i'm a little tired so i got gonna really go on camera i mean you know i worked last night late look look at that look i broke the nail remember these are my nails i broke the nail the whole nail down to the little nub yeah i was working i'll see them on monday 
Let me hear these comments, and then we'll call it a night. Afrocentric home decor, staying Afrocentric home decor. Good evening. Hey, Dora. Nice kitchen decor, Mama Lisa Marie. Thank you, darling. Hey, Emma. Elena, gorgeous. Pay for my December class day. I saw it come in. Thank you so much. Hey, Choco Cat, returning back. Love it. Stunning. Thank you. Uh, e. A. Good afternoon, everyone. Sis, I really love that custom shelf. Unit. Thank you. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. Thank you, Karen Knight. This is nice. It definitely looks like an Afrocentric cafe. Thank you. That, that's good to hear from y'all, like different feel that you get. And I love that when y'all say that. Show the new plants. Good. I know Virginia said, you know, she said, you know I'm a plant, mommy. I need to see my plants. Yeah, it's good. Elisa Marie, oh, I love it. Seeing the fruits and, and on display. Hello, everybody. Hey, Queen. Natty dress is absolutely full of beauty. Well done, Lisa Marie. Thank you. Hey, see a big smile, so beautiful and full of color. Yes, I'm grinning. Thank you, EA. Looking forward to seeing you in the class, Elena Gomez. Yes, Marilyn says, hey, Lisa Marie. Hey, Marilyn. Wow, so proud of you. Thank you, yes, man. That's really, really beautiful. I know y'all saw it go from nothing to something. Hello, lady. Hey, Wentworth Johnson. Beautiful kitchen. Thank you so much. Yes, y'all. It starts this a week from tomorrow. Sign up for the last 21-day intensive, December 6th, saying goodbye. Get tools to say goodbye to stagnation, ideologies, and anything that has you, has you bound. $97 and the last one of a decade of doing it. John Doe. Hey, Lisa, are you going to paint the pale yellow gold like the rest of the wall? I don't know. Because let me tell you what I'm going to do with that. Either way, I wanted to actually keep it that pale yellow because I remember now that the guy that did the um, the two baskets in the kitchen, you know, the bins for the trash and the recycling, I know that he can draw. I'm actually going to have him call and tell Kwame. I'm going to tell Kwame tomorrow. I have him come to the house because on that pale yellow part, it's going to say one Africa. But I don't. I just want the one O N E in black, and I want the Africa. Just him drawing the map again, not even saying the word Africa. One Africa, one continent. That's what Kwame Nkrumah believed. That's what so many others, you know, the United States of Africa, one Africa. And I really kind of want that in that pale yellow. I think it gives us some type of artistic, um, you know, license. Like it doesn't make it regular. So, and it kind of is a story to that. Like that's where Kojo ran out of paint and he did it pretty perfectly. So I kind of like it. I, I, I need things to be a little off. If it's too, you know, mm -mm, no, I couldn't do it. So I think, I'm thinking not. I'm thinking not, but great question. Thank you so much. So yes, okay, let me go back. Yes, but good question. I don't think I'm going to paint it the gold. I think I'm going to keep it that pale yellow. Queen Lex says, girl, we don't sweat, we glisten. That's right, Queen Lex. John o says, we love the African basket. Thank you. You got your basket. That's right. That's right. That's right. Red, black, and green for life. That's right. Hashtag naturally clever. OMG, beautiful. Thank you, Virginia. Clay Teen, I definitely like the one with the content. That's right. That is excellent work there. Yes. Is the in no, I know, John. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on that next one. When I make them for y'all, I'll make sure the inside's painted. If that's what you want. Especially that lid. I feel like if nothing else, that lid. Uh, the kitchen is beautiful. B N G B. Thank you. Joyce Smith. Hello, Lisa Marie. I love your place. Those trash cans. Oh my goodness. Are you going to celebrate Kwanzaa? You know what? I never really celebrate the holidays in that way. And then I'm over here. So like Thanksgiving, it don't really mean anything. They celebrate Christmas. No, I'm not going to do anything. I mean, I, you know, let me just say, I don't know what it is. I know what it is. I think when you are Afrocentric, in your whole way of life. I don't really need an Afrocentric holiday because that's what Kwanzaa is. It is an Afrocentric holiday, to be specific. Let's see. I don't feel like I really need an Afrocentric holiday. It never, and I always, I never thought why I felt that, but now I could actually, it's funny, I leave now, no, it's like being here and they don't have to be Afrocentric because they're actually African. They don't have to put Africa in the center. They are Africa in the center. And it's like the same thing with holidays now. So no matter if they're black or not, it no, I don't mean that. I'm living it. I'm I'm I am the holiday, you know. So no, I'm not gonna celebrate Kwanzaa in the seven days. Nah, not even necessary. I live it. I'm living Africa. So I, you know, the reminder is every day I walk out the door of the Nguzu Saba, which is the seven principles. So no, mm -mm, not at all. And Thanksgiving, I couldn't even remember it was. 
So I really like that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, yes. Okay, but thank you for asking. Uh, no, I'm not. Nice. Hello, Lisa. Hey, hey, uh, Elizabeth Grant. Uh, how are you? Will they also be available? Yeah, we can do smaller sizes. I'm going to go see if we can work that out. Those are all custom. So this, this is all, everything is custom. This is really some damn good work. I'm fascinated. Thank you, Queen Clay team. You did that. Kitchen is popping with no grease. That's right. See, that's right, uh, EA. Thank you. See anything in this room you would love for your home? Contact Lisa Marie at theblackberrybeauty at gmail.com. Thank you, 300 West. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and y'all remember, I want to show you um, uh, uh, my client's uh, mud cloth uh, wallets that I had made. She just asked me to make it, and I made some choices, so I'm going to show you. You inspired me to create a Malcolm X. Yes, John Doe, and that's the kind of stuff that I actually want to do, John. I really want to do that for my clients. Who inspires you? Who, who do you love? Like all my Afrocentric brothers and sisters out there, I could hook you up, but yes, do a Malcolm X room. That's going to be some beautiful stuff. And then you'll start going into the research. Like one, two or three of those shelves in the kitchen is going to be dedicated to Kwame Nkrumah and Marcus Garvey books. And so Kwame calls somebody because he knows somebody, a bookstore that we're going to go to on Monday to get some Kwame Nkrumah. Hopefully I can get some Marcus Garvey as well. I'm feeling them, of course. When you put your ancestors up, they talk to you. So we'll talk about that in another video. Her mug cuffs duvet were very nice. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? Oh, ah, John Doe, I would love to see that. Sounds dope, don't it? Love the recycling bin. Thank you, Susan. Girl, Lisa Marie is so beautiful. Thank you, Miss Virginia. EA says, baskets, uh, that's right, red, black, and green, and red, gold, and green are the most pleasant garbage and recycling receptacles I've ever seen. Class, pizzazz, black girl magic. Ah, thank you. Now, Natural Clever said, let's get them likes up, and they did. 43 people, 22 likes. Let's see some more if you, if you got it. Hi, New Plant Edition. Yes, Miss Virginia, for you. My ponytail palm is temperamental. I heard that they are. Mine has been thriving, but it was in the deep sun. But you know what I'm going to do, Susan? <clears throat> Susan's tribe? What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually design its own table because I remember my ex had one and it liked to, it grew nice kind of high. And that's a way to keep the, the, the plants from competing with each other when you have different levels. That's why I'm actually gonna create a whole line of uh, plant stands as well as pots. 